All right, it's Brewer with Sweetwater Fly Shop here. The river is blown out and I like to do lake fishing this time of year. So I'm gonna show you guys a nice coronamid that I like to fish. I start out with a size 14 hook and a, a scud hook and a 5 ths white bead. My first step is I'm gonna take uh, some red thread and put it on the hook starting in the middle kind of and then work down towards the you're gonna work just past the bar by about a barb length like this build up a little bit of a, a butt right there and then come back up and then I'm actually gonna change immediately to black thread coronamids have a little red butt on them so that's why I like to Put that little red bottle on there. You don't need it, but I do. I will say that it. I have had days on the water where it makes a difference. So now that we have the black thread on, take that black thread down to just above your little bump there. Leave just that little piece on there like that. And then I'm going to take the goose that I got last season, the biot from the wing, like that. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then you want to make sure that there's a black edge on them and there's like a fuzzy edge. You want to make, to make sure that black edge is back. So I like to put it on the far side of the hook for me like this. And just tie it in just there by the tip. Doesn't need to be super clean or anything. And then I like to just build a little taper to the body. So that way when I wrap this by up, I get a tapered body. Just like that. And then I'll take my biot. And wrap it, touching wraps all the way up the body. See that black edge is on the back. Creating a segment, really nice segmentation of the body. They're kind of tricky to work with. You can also dip these in water and wet them to do this, which I have not done, but it helps to, with the tying, makes it a little bit more supple and not as likely to break and stuff like that. Tie it off there at the head, get it pretty close. It doesn't need to be right on because we're gonna put a little collar on this fly. Looks good. And this just has a nice gray body on it and a lot of those coronavirus, depending on the lake and the species, have kind of a gray body with that black segmenting. Take off as much of that little tag as you can and then I like to take a piece of peacock curl, two pieces of peacock curl. And I just break the tips off because they're very brittle generally and I'll just tie them in right there by the tip. Just back a little bit. And then I'll take two, one, two, three wraps. So two and a half probably is good with that and then tie it off just like that. And that's basically the fly there. Fish as well on a lot of the lakes in the area even the ponds and stuff. If you guys have trout in your ponds, anything like that, drop it below a little leech, something along those lines. Get out there, give it a shot. Thanks for watching.